In this video, we will look at how you multiply fractions in word problems. There was five eighths of a pie left in the fridge. Daniel ate one fourth of the leftover pie. How much of a pie did he have? So we, what I realize is that they want us to find out what is one fourth of five eighths. I want to start with a picture. And I'm going to use a rectangle to represent the pie. And I want to know what is one fourth of five eighths. So five eighths, I'm going to start with a picture of five eighths. So I'm going to divide this into eight equal parts. It's two, divide in half again, that would give me four, and then divide one more time. And let me fix this line a bit. Okay, so I have eight parts. Each one of these parts is an eighth. One eighth, one eighth, one eighth, one eighth, and so forth. And if I add these all together, that would equal eight over eight, which is one, um, one whole. So we have one whole here. And there was five eighths of the pie left. So I am going to shade in five eighths. One, two, three, four, and five. This section here is representing the five eighths of the pie that was left. So this is pi left over. Going back to the problem, it also said that Daniel ate one fourth of the leftover pie. So here's the leftover pie. He ate one fourth. So now I'm going to divide this because one fourth is going to be a smaller amount so I'm going to make even smaller portions but I'm going to do it horizontally and I need to make fourths. So this is one half and one half. I'm going to divide it once more, each section once more and now I have this section that shows one fourth of the whole and so on and so forth. And it says Daniel ate one fourth of the pie. So I am going to draw, I'm going to color in a fourth. So that would be this whole section here. And I'm going to outline the section, the pieces that have both green and red. And that's one, two, three, four, five. So that's going to be my numerator. Five. My denominator is how many equal pieces are there. And one way I could find that out would be to count it all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Another way would be to multiply the length times the width, which is 8. Let me circle the 8 as the denominator, times 4. And 8 times 4 is 32. So I get the same amount of pieces. So 5 over 32. Now that you understand that we are there, we're, when we multiply, we were, when we were looking for the leftover or how much pie had left, we were making it into smaller parts. We had, we took one fourth of five eighths, 
what we're really what we are doing now with multiplying fraction is we are taking one fourth of and we can say of instead of times one fourth of five eighths. And we multiply across. One times five is five. And denominator four times eight is 32. So this is, again, it's read as one fourth of five eighths. So our answer to this question is Daniel eight five thirty second of the pie. Olivia took out eight glasses and poured juice from the pitcher. The capacity of each glass is three tenths liter. If there is enough juice for six glasses, how much juice was there? At the top I left one, I actually added one fourth of five eighths is the same as one fourth times five eighths. And this is what, this was from our previous problem to remind us that of means the same as multiplying. Now Olivia had eight glasses. She had some juice in the pitcher and she poured it into the eight glasses. The, each glass can hold three tenths a liter and she could only fill six glasses. So we want to find out what is three tenths of six glasses. So now we have our focus, three tenths of six. Going back up here, one fourth of five eighths is the same as one fourth times five eighths. I'm gonna use that and I'm gonna write an expression here, three tenths of six. And this is the six glasses. Now, I know that six, this can be written as six over one because six divided by one is six. Now, simply going to multiply across but before I do that I am going to cross multiply cross reduce and 2 goes into 6 3 times and 10 divided by 2 is 5 so what I did here is I divided 6 by 2 and got 3 and 10 by 2 and got and it equals 5. Now I can multiply 3 times 3 which is 9 and 5 times 1 which is 5. I'm going to divide these out and so 5 times I'm sorry 5 times 1 is 5 and 9 minus 5 is 4 so I have 1 and 4 fifths of a liter the question again was how much juice was there the answer is there was 1 and 4 fifths liter of juice. Pam baked some cupcakes for her friends. She baked 24 cupcakes. Each cupcake is 2 fifteenths pound. If she packed six cupcakes in each box, what is the weight of each box? Pause the video and try this out on your own. What am I being asked to find? What is 2 fifteenths of 6? 
The six is representing the six cupcakes in each box, and each of them weighs two fifteenths pounds. So looking back, referring back here, I know that two fifteenths of six is also can be written as two fifteenths times six. I'm gonna gonna write it over one, six over one. I'm going to see if I can divide. I can divide six by three and fifteen by three. Six divided by three is two and 15 divided by three is five. Now I can multiply across two times six. I'm sorry, two times two is four and five times one is five. So the weight of each box is four fifths pounds. According to a recipe, each batch of pancake mix can make 12 pancakes. Kathy is making three ba batches for a brunch party. If each batch needs 7 twelfths cups of milk, how much milk does she need in total? So what Am I being asked to do? I'd like you to pause the video and I'd like you to try it on your own. So we're making three batches, or she's making three ba batches, and each batch needs seven twelfths. So basically, what is seven twelfths of three batches? Seven twelve times three. I'm gonna divide this by divide three by three, divide twelve by three. This equals one, and this equals four. Seven times one is seven. Four times one is four. And let's divide this out since our numerator is greater than our denominator. Four times one is four. Seven minus four is three. So one and three fourths cups. One and three fourths cups of milk. So our answer, our question is how much milk does she need in total? She needs one three-fourths cups of milk.